fighting for my children. Hey, I'm found it. As you can see, I found the police report, or they found the police report. I took it to the prosecutors, and they said they will be in touch. But the thing about it is, though, they asked them, okay, well, your kids are out of your custody temporarily. Why? They have to have a reason. They have to have a reason to take your children. They got to prove it beyond a reasonable doubt. That don't sound right. And I'm telling the prosecutor, like, yeah, it don't sound right to me. That's why I'm going through the city council. If I have to go as high as the Ohio Supreme Court, I will, because I've never heard of that. You didn't give me the due process. You didn't prove it beyond a reasonable doubt. And you're defaming my character as a parent because from the outside looking in, it's like, okay, they took your kids for a reason. No, nothing was proved. Nothing was substantiated in court. When I went to court in September, they told me my health. Referring to the fact that, you know, MS and primary progressive MS, what I'm diagnosed with is is visually seen. It causes mobi- mobility problems and it's a neurological autoimmune disease. It's not going nowhere. That's like saying, hey, because you have cerebral palsy, you can't be a mom or because you're an amputee, you can't be a mom. That's discrimination. That That's a violation of the ADA laws. And I've said that from the beginning. And we're going to find out why you took my children without no jurisdiction, without no merit, without any substantiated proof. All we have is hearsay. We don't have anything. If you're saying that the kids told you something, I'm not acknowledgeable of that because I you, you got the testimony from them supposedly or their statement at school. So we're going to see. I'm fighting for my kids.